When you're planning for retirement, there are lots of things to consider, from income to length of life to the amount of health care you'll need. An important component is long-term care. Seventy percent of people turning 65 years old will need some type of long-term care. And a survey by the Insured Retirement Institute found that 67 percent of people heading into retirement don't think they'll have enough money to pay for long-term care. That's understandable, since long-term care can cost $50,000 to $250,000 a year, depending on the level of care needed. And that money comes out of your pocket, because Medicare does not pay for long-term care. Part of your planning process should include looking at long-term care insurance to see if that's right for you. Here are some questions you need to ask. How many years of coverage should I purchase? The average estimate is two to five years. Remember, the longer the benefit period, the more the policy costs. Will policy premiums increase? Does the policy pay me the entire daily benefit amount, even if actual expenses are lower, or does it only reimburse actual costs? Does the policy have an inflation rider? Inflation riders increase the amount of your benefit every year to offset increases in the cost of care. Is there a waiting or elimination period before the policy begins to pay? Does the policy reset? If you need care for just a short time, does the benefit amount reset to the original lifetime benefit? The question of when to buy long-term care insurance is a tricky one. The longer you wait, the more expensive the premiums and the higher probability you'll be denied coverage. Buying long-term care insurance is not to be entered into lightly, so make sure it's right for you.